What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you guys have heard of Hair Infinity and I just want to let you guys know that I will be going on a Hair Infinity journey. Starting April 1st, I'm going to start my Hair Infinity journey. So I was contacted by Hair Infinity and they kind of just wanted me to test out their product, try it out for myself. And so I was like, sure, I'll try it out. Um, I've heard so many reviews on Hair Infinity, so many good views. Obviously, you have bad views, reviews, and then you also have like mixed reviews. So I'm kind of eager to try this out for myself so I can make up my own judgment on this product. So everybody and their mom has done a review on Hair Infinity, and they sent me a they sent me three bottles which is three months worth of hair vitamins so you take two daily and i will be doing that april 1st and some of the things that i've heard about hair infinity pros is obviously it makes your hair grow it stops hair shedding it um makes your hair your hair overall healthier so those are all the pros i am nervous just a little bit about some of the cons and what I've heard were, you know, you break out. Um, some people broke out really, really bad. Um, some people said they had chest pains. Some people said they had headaches. And so all of that is a factor when I am taking this. However, I don't know these people. So I can't really base my judgment off of their review because um, I don't know if it was just the vitamins or their everyday lifestyle I don't know whether they eat right you know I don't you don't know those things so don't base if you were thinking about trying hair infinity and you were kind of just like on the fence because other people said oh it breaks you out or oh you get headaches and yada 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 try it for yourself you won't know and you can't really base your decision off of others reviews um keep it in mind but you can't base your sole decision off of what they say because you don't know them you don't know if they drink water you don't know if they if they're eating mcdonald's like five times a day or if they're smoking a hundred times a day like you don't know those things so all that plays a factor in how some vitamins may respond to your body um yes i am nursing so yes i that is in the back of my head as well. I don't see a problem with it. I don't see a problem with taking Hair Infinity while I'm nursing. Um, so, But if I see any changes in my body, like if I see myself starting to break out or I start experiencing some things, I'm obviously going to stop taking them. Um, or if it changes my, my milk, I will definitely stop taking them. But in the meantime, I don't think that this is going to be a problem or anything like that. This will be my official Hair Infinity challenge because, um, or whatever you want to call it. I did purchase Hair Infinity back in December of 2012 and I took it for about two weeks. And no, I didn't break out. No, I didn't have any reactions to it at all. But I had to stop taking it because I found out I was pregnant. So just to be on the safe side, I just stopped taking it altogether. If you are pregnant, um, I, would, I wouldn't take them. Just to be on the safe side because you are developing your baby. But if you're nursing and you're just really, really uncomfortable and you're not sure, always talk to your doctor. Always, you know, get a second opinion from your physician on whether or not it's safe or not. But I will be taking these along with my prenatal vitamins. If I notice any changes, like I said, if I notice any negative effects, I definitely will stop taking these vitamins. So um, I was going to do a lymph check, but I probably just insert some pictures i guess i can just do a little limp check i'm not on this journey for hair growth at all like i said they contacted me so i just figured why not try it um so yeah i don't have a particular length goal or anything like that so we'll just see if it does what it says it does so right now i just got a haircut like um march 4th i believe i got a haircut so the back of my hair is here, wherever that is, because I don't have a mirror in front of me. So I believe that's like a little below collarbone. Um, this is not an official lymph check. This is like one of those quickie ones. The side of my hair is like right here, like the lower part of my neck. Um, this side comes to about... I don't want to mess up my twist out though. But anyways, this one comes to about right above my collarbone. 
Um, oh, I have my hair in a little bunny bun. Like, I'll insert pictures, y'all. This is real ratchet. I'll insert pictures of my hair in the length. That way we can compare it. So I will come back um, May 1st and we will do a, you know, a comparison of my of my hair growth from April 1st to May 1st. I'll come back. Yeah, May 1st. I'll come back and I'll show you guys my hair growth and all that. I'll talk about how I've been feeling, if I notice any negative changes, positive changes. What are the effects of this hair affinity vitamin that everybody is crazy about? Um, so yeah, I will have all of that. So if you would like to go on a hair infinity journey, I will have hair infinity's information down below in the description bar. So make sure you check that out and stay tuned. Let's see what these vitamins do. Do they do what they say they're supposed to do? So we'll watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.